third only. Old habits die hard. For tickets and showtimes, visit fathomevents.com. I'm Robert Osborne. Our next film with today's Summer to the Stars honoree, Debbie Reynolds, is one that Debbie made 15 years after Singing in the Rain, a period in which Debbie was a bona fide star in a wide mix of films, including the unsinkable Molly Brown, for which she received an Oscar nomination, and also playing a nun in The Singing Nun, and soon to enter the horror film genre with the thriller What's the Matter with Helen? Well, in that mix, she also made our next movie often referred to as a comedy, but actually a semi-serious exploration of the breakup of a marriage. It's a film from 1967 called Divorce American Style, and it teams Debbie with Dick Van Dyke, Jason Robards, Gene Simmons, and Van Johnson. Well, in the movie, Debbie and Dick play a married couple who go through a bad patch and separate, and they find that being single again has even more challenges and frustrations than sorting out marital woes. It's done with, at times, a very light touch, but the subject is a serious one, and many who went to the movie expecting a comedy were surprised at what they found. Their confusion was understandable, though. Debbie and Dick were basically synonymous at that point with movie comedies. Even that title, Divorce American Style, hinted that it might be a second cousin to a very popular Italian comedy of a few years earlier called Divorce Italian style. Very witty film from start to finish. But once people adjusted to the seriousness of our movie, most people found it both entertaining and provocative. Besides the five stars that get the big billing, there are many other assets in the cast, including Lee Grant, who was just getting her film career rolling again after years of being blacklisted during that messy House on American Activities era. There's also Eileen Brennan, Martin Gable, comedian Shelley Berman, and somebody who was a very popular nightclub attraction in the 1960s, Pat Collins, billed as the hip hypnotist and famous for putting rooms full of people under her spell and command beyond their own will. Pat Collins had her own nightclub for several years on the Sunset Strip in Hollywood till she kind of faded from the scene in the late 70s. But here now, one of the least known but most interesting films of Debbie Reynolds' career in the 1960s. A movie directed by TV veteran Bud Yorkin with a screenplay by another TV legend, Norman Lear. From 1967, Divorce American Style. 